Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stellaris. It is 2390. We are 10 years away from the endgame crisis. So the name of the game this episode is going to be um, fortifying and um, preparing. Uh, we're probably going to spend most of this episode on fast speed instead of normal speed um, because we're not at war anymore. Um, really, all we need to do is continue researching technologies. Um, and as we get more alloys, we need to update our fleets upgrade our fleets and i think we want to build a fourth fleet once we've built out our fourth fleet entirely we can start spending our alloys on upgrading our citadels um we are going to probably save those alloys for the citadels that are on the border um first and we can upgrade our inner stations later all right with that being said let's go ahead and unpause the game uh we'll turn this up to fast speed and let's continue to improve the Hostile output of our engaged. worlds. Hostile station engaged. Oh, right. I forgot we have a, a fleet on the fringes of the Empire dealing with all of these um, space fauna down here. I was going to say we can continue um, buying these Ascension tiers. This is going to cost us 51,000 unity. Tier 5. How many Both Ascension tiers engaged. are there? But this is going to continue improving our energy, which, by the way, we are full up on, so we might as well buy a bunch of alloys. Uh, we can also probably sell all of our food and use that to buy a bunch more alloys as well. Um, okay. So we have upgraded Science our generator time. world. The next upgrade is going to cost us 54,000 unity. Wait, maximum ascension tier is tier five. Okay, so we've done that for that world. We can probably max out our mining world as well to tier five. Um, and if we have this mining world we can probably also improve our special resources that output Hostile all right looks engaged. like we're full up on influence as well um and we can upgrade our scientist that's governing level core um or this isn't a counselor oh this leader upkeep minus 10 percent. sure might as well uh looks like there's another leader that needs an upgrade no there isn't okay so let's find our fleets this fleet fully upgraded okay here's another fleet that is currently doing nothing okay let's move it down here and down here and down here we were going to try to claim the dandar system because that we have some something in our activities log about it. Um, looks like all of our other fleets are fully upgraded, so we can go ahead and build out our fourth fleet. Let me just make sure. Okay, looks like our commissary general is going to win the re-election. Let me just make sure that this fleet has the same template as all the others. Thirty sixteen eight six two four. Thirty sixteen eight six two four. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give this the reinforce order, reinforce fleet order. That's going to spend all of our alloys to start building up our fourth fleet. Death of a great leader. All right. Puri Jakir. This was, of course, on our council. So that must have been our great scientist or head researcher. A deep sorrow has gripped the public. Okay. Fantastic. Well, that's not fantastic, I should say. But um, let's... Put a new researcher on to the council. Now, of course, I could choose our 102-year-old, but that 102-year-old is going to die in a few years. So why don't we put the young 56-year-old who still has a lot of potential to grow. Grow into the position, yes. Um, or we should ha be sending our construction ship down here. And we should be surveying systems here. Okay. 
Now we're going to move our military ship into the Charna and the Dandar system. Our influence is full up. That's nothing Council new. We've nothing increased more. our fleet command limit. We can finally get terraforming, which is funny. Um, that's the one technology we never needed in this game. Uh, edicts fun plus 20. That's boring. Resources from jobs plus 10%. Eh. War exhaustion gain. Not really that important. Why don't we get clearing blockers? And why don't we get better factories would be fine. Cruiser hull points, defense platform hull points, starbase costs. Okay, we need to start unlocking these technologies, but I can't resist the rare technology. We don't really use defense platforms that much though. Let's get the cruiser hull points. All right, and here's our new Starfleet, building up at the Corolla station. Fantastic. This new Starfleet, it looks like they've started building the destroyers first of all. Larcia has become a cybernetic empire, interesting. How are we doing on loyalty? Um, Seda Panixala is still very loyal to us. Fantastic. Um, the state of Mithfell is also staying loyal to us. Just making sure we have all of our research agreements and whatnot. Okay. Um, how is the Sandra and United Planet States? They are not staying loyal to us. Perhaps we need to improve our relations by sending one of our envoys. Now, which of these is less loyal? Plus, point zero, plus 0 0.89 with Mythfell and plus 1.41 with the state of Panixala. So we'll go ahead and move our envoy from Panixala to improve relations with the Sandra and United Planet States to keep them loyal. All right, we've got the tile blockers. We can get, let's see. We can get fortresses, or we can get habitability bonuses. We don't really need habitability bonuses. Hyper entertainment forms, we don't really need those. Yeah, let's get fortresses. We can really um, fortify our planets if we want. Not that we necessarily need to. System survey complete. Space-born life form encountered. Hostile station engaged. Where is the rest of our army? It's in Jaltham? Looks like we have two extra armies here that we can go and uh, rendezvous with our main army in Jaltham. All right. Looks like they have taken out the threat in the Charna system. So let's go ahead and survey it and let's move our construction ship in. In fact, let's actually just go straight into the Dandar system and survey that. That's the system we really want. Let's remind ourselves what the situation actually is. Remnant of a remnant? Our investigations suggest that the remnant of a civilization dedicated to the accumulation of knowledge sought their refuge in the Dandar system. Okay, I hope this is good and worth our while. We've had this in our situation log for like forever. Let's sell a bunch of consumer goods. Let's sell a bunch of minerals. And let's buy a bunch of alloys. All right, which one is our new fleet? This is our new fleet. We'll go ahead and reinforce this fleet again. Space storm VDRX dissipates. All right, that nuisance of a space storm is finally over. Bruv embraces cybernetics. The Bruv and Hive. Okay. Fantastic. We've made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the Dandar system. For now, we have codenamed them the Iota Menace. Until we can find out more about them, if they possess the language, we should decipher it so we can assess how much of a threat they pose. All right. Is this just going to be the curators? Because that was really... Um, 
disappointing. I'm not even going to try to establish contact with the curators. I need my envoys um, ensuring loyalty from our subjects right now. Um, speaking of our subjects, I want to make sure that we have holdings built on all three planets. Look at this. I don't actually think we did build a holding for this uh, United, Sandra and United Planet States. We get a Ministry of Energy that produces minus three energy credits for the subject and four energy credits for the overlord. Wait, that's so lame. That's it? Four energy credits? For a penalty to their loyalty? I don't think so. Hmm. I know this is also kind of pathetically small, but I'd rather just have the satellite campus. No loyalty penalty, and we get some extra research off, off the back of it, too. Alright. Sounds good. Alright. Um, looks like they are a level 2 prospectorium. I don't know what that means for us. We've looked in the previous episode, so I don't feel the need to go look again. Are they a level two? Yes, Galarian. Okay. System survey complete. We can build fortresses if we need. All right, let's see what else we can get. We can unlock extra building slots on our planets. We can get bioreactors, which increases energy credits and reduces food from farmers. It's actually not bad. I think I'm going to take the bioreactor. We have all this extra food we're not using. Um, looks like we can go ahead and clear blockers on this planet to clear up some extra building slots. And it looks like we have some unemployment on our generator world. Well, I know what I'm going to be filling those slots with. Um, and we have one final, um, we could, should probably also replace all our agriculture districts on this planet with energy districts um so we can get the maximum number of generated districts we have one final building slot now i could use could create like an ancient refinery or something this will just give us some like rare resources or i could build a stronghold hmm you know we'll keep that up for later complete. our factory world can also clear some blockers. Um, where else do we have unemployment? Just on our capital, huh? Well, we don't need any extra unity at this point, so... Agenda ready. Why don't we just continue upgrading our research labs? We have the housing to afford the extra jobs. All right, we're gonna build advanced research complexes. Six researcher jobs. Fantastic. All right. We increase the productivity of our psionic um, populations. Uh, uh, and let's get stability. Sure. Uh, we can get a new research. We can get a clone army. I don't think we need that. What is an ancient target scrambler? Ping repeaters and optic diffusers. With the right wavelength can produce in destructive interference and effectively scramble hostile targeting systems. You know what I'm going to bite? I'm curious to know what that is. Is that a ship component? Is that a starbase component? <coughs> Excuse me. How is our new fleet doing? Looks like we can continue to reinforce it. And how is our exploration down south going? Looks like there's nothing actually in the Dandar system. It's probably just the curators. We don't actually need to clear, claim the system after all. So let's go ahead and move our scientists back into the Helito system. Um, speaking of scientists, we can probably um, reassign this scientist, who is Pocky Jakir, to governing our planet again. Because we lost one of our governors. Um, we have all our sector governors that we need but we have a couple tech worlds that could use 
governors. So let's go ahead and assign this governor, yeah, Pocky Jakir, to New Favaria. Do we have any other tech worlds that need scientist governors? We do. Can we hire any more scientists? We can indeed. Um, why don't we go ahead and take governor bonuses? We can take a 43 year old. Planet and district ups, uh, building and district upkeep down. That's good. Ooh. Let's get architectural interest. And we might as well get Spark of Genius in case this person ends up being on our council. Looks like we have unemployed pops on Fortalia, um, which is fully upgraded. So why don't we go ahead and upgrade these research labs? Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a favor for the Sandra and United Planet State to make sure the rest of these systems are clear. But other than that, we're good to go. So we're going to move our construction ship back probably to Huawei in a nice central position where it's, it's mobile and can move back. Um, I think we should, we're also moving our science ship back. We'll also move it to Huawei in case we need it for the future. Um, yep. And uh, we should be good to go. Looks like there's lots of debris, actually, that we could be researching. Ah, this is just space fauna debris. We don't really need that. That's not going to give us anything useful at this point in the game. All right, five years to go till 2400, Hostile which should be the end game crisis. Um, looks like the Jotham system, we need to go ahead and build one more psionic army. For our fully upgraded army. All right, this fleet can go ahead and return to Ragunath, where it needs to be upgraded. Blocker cleared. All right. Fantastic. Did we finally research that technology that upped our fleet command limit? We did. So let's go into fleet management and let's see. We have 20 extra fleet command limit, fleet command limit. Where should we put those 20 extra um, ships? I think we could probably get more kinetic artillery battleships. We can get one more of those. I think that's cost for eight or 16. Uh, okay. And let's see, how many cruisers do we have? We have six torpedo cruisers and we have eight gunship cruisers. I think that's a healthy amount. I honestly think we could probably just get some more Corvettes. Our Corvettes are pretty crucial. Like having a good screen, right? Ah, uh, what the heck. Let's just increase the rest of it with Corvettes. So we're going to have 42 Corvettes. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so we're going to want one more battleship, and we're going to want the rest to be Corvettes. Okay, one more kinetic battleship, and the rest to be Corvettes. One more battleship and the rest to be corvettes. All right, fantastic. Once we get the alloys, we can go ahead and upgrade all of our fleets. 2,399 alloys, sure. Okay, fantastic. I wonder if we're going to want to go and upgrade all of our battleships once we unlock our committers. What do these actually do again? Shield penetration and armor penetration. So they just do direct hull damage. Firing arc is 35 degrees. I don't know how that compares to the other ones. Has 100% accuracy, but 0% tracking. 100% accuracy, that's pretty good. 
one to 1,300, and I don't know if that's one of the lower dealing, lower damage dealing options available to us, but it seems pretty high to me. Okay, our factory world, we can go ahead and upgrade it. And do we need any more consumer goods? I'm going to say no. I think it's probably better spent building some energy districts. How many more districts can we build on this world? Six more? Yeah, let's go ahead and build six more energy districts. We're good on minerals. We're good on consumer goods. We're good on food. But energy we can always use more of. All right. Looks like we have a blocker we can clear on this world as well. And this might actually clear up some more district slots on this world. We're lacking housing on this world. So before we do anything, we're actually going to want, instead of building all generated districts, we're going to want to build at least one more city district. And let's go ahead and bump this up in priority. Yeah, so we'll build the city district next. Are you having trouble with pirates? Myth fell obliterators. No, they're not the obliterators anymore. Sorry, the state of myth fell. That is behind them. No, they shouldn't be having trouble with, with pirates. They have plenty of firepower to deal with it. Plenty of firepower. What is the state of Panic Solo's fleet doing all the way down here? Leviathan defeated. Molinarch Centralized Commonality says vanquished an ancient threat in the distant Voom system. All right. You know, that's something that was actually very lacking in this playthrough. I know we defeated Shard, that like space dragon, but other than that, we didn't really encounter any Leviathans. Research complete. That could have been a fun part of the playthrough that we just never got to experience. Um, we can continue looking into Elgate Insights. Oh, I really want to get these weapons, but I mean, Elgate Insights are also good. I just want, worry that maybe the Elgate is going to be a bit of a distraction once the endgame crisis comes. Do we really want to be worrying about the Elgate at that point? Um, okay, our tech world, we can probably start... We can first and foremost upgrade our energy grid. And then we can probably start upgrading our research labs. How are we doing on our um, rare resources? Yeah, we have plenty of them, so we can afford all these upgrades. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and finish upgrading this fleet. This fleet is now going to be at full strength. So it's one of our fleets. We have two fleets over here in the east. Um, we need more alloys. We just need more alloys. Council election imminent. We're going to be on the council. All right. That's a happy coincidence. We don't necessarily care that much. We don't really need to be on the council, but it's nice that we are. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and start with our more upgraded fleet right now. We'll go ahead and reinforce this fleet so it's at full strength. And then we'll go to our lesser upgraded fleet, the Decini Star fleet. And we can probably hire on a new admiral. Ships upgraded. Looks like we have a commander doing nothing. Um, these traits aren't that great. I guess aggressiveness level 2 isn't bad. Okay, we might as well just assign this commander. Okay. Space -born life form encountered. And we can upgrade one of our scientists, this governor of New Favaria. Um, sure, we can give a physics focus. All right. The Galactic Council has been chosen. We are on the Galactic Council. We are the weakest member of the council, but we are still on the council. I don't know what privileges that brings us. And frankly, I don't really think it matters. 
repeals the Natural Sanctuaries Resolution leaving pan-galactic recycling initiatives as galactic law. Sure. Let's repeal stuff. <coughs> Joy Tundir has unemployment. All right, looks like we just need some more fac factory districts. Let's do it. We could probably use another city district too. Research We're low on housing on this world. All right, we've got ancient target scramblers. Research complete. Okay, interesting. We can get extra building slots, but all of our planets have plenty of building slots. We don't really need that. We can down our crime and up our amenities. That's probably pretty good. Uh, and we've got arc emitters. All right. Is this a um, repeatable? This definitely looks like a repeatable. Energy weapon fire rate plus 5%. I don't think we need to get into any repeatable technologies at this point. Hyper shields. Hmm. We can get super good shields, or we can get tachyon centers, or we can get special torpedoes, energy torpedoes. Hmm. We don't need the research institute. We definitely don't need the improved reactor boosters. Why don't we get tachyon sensors? This is going to improve our tracking of all of our ships so we can handle high high evasion enemies a little better. We're full up on food again. Wow, we have so many resources. Death of a great leader. Scientist Pocky Jakira has passed away at the age of 109. Small commemoration will, f will suffice. All right, sounds like we need to hire on yet another scientist. Um, we can go for this 45 year old. We're gonna hire this as a leader. Um, and we can upgrade architectural interest, sure. And we need to find where Pocky Jakir was actually governing. We just assigned Pocky Jakir, right? Yeah, I think New Favaria was the place. All right, there we go. This recovered asset is like useless to us now. 18,000. It's nothing compared to like the, the size and the potential of all of our other fleets. Okay, this fleet is at full strength. This fleet we can go ahead and reinforce. This fleet is at full strength. All right, are we gonna be ready? One year. I don't know if the endgame crisis happens at 23400 exactly or if it's ballpark around that year. My guess would be ballpark. So maybe more than one year, maybe Council less than one year. Available. All right. Any way to get some more alloys? I would love some more alloys. These are getting expensive. I mean, we can continue just selling everything that we have extras of. Like consumer goods, food, minerals. All right. More alloys, yes please. Incoming transmission. The Yisra Vanaran Ancients. Communications from the Ancients. Okay, these are the fanatic xenophiles. Greetings, Valdari. As you no doubt know, we are... We... Yisra Vanar are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We have studied your species and determined that the Favarian Republic is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. Are you kidding me? We have done very successful for ourselves. Uh, to ensure continuation of the Valdar species, should the worst befall your empire, we would like to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. Endangered species preserve. That sounds so... Insulting. We will construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of your species, and its population will be well taken care of and protected from all harm, so you need not worry on their behalf. Uh, 
Uh, our people are not going to be happy with this. Our people are not for sale. Space-born life form encountered. We are a democracy. We do what our people want, and they don't want that. No, they do not. Okay, fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Event. Looks like there is a new paragon. The alien is encased in a gurgling life support unit. Thick fluid sloshes through the tubes and vents, causing his speech to emerge in a wet gurgle. Your industrial plants are a disgrace. Wow. Wow. Great, great first introduction. You're just going to start off by insulting us. Explain yourself. You could benefit from my expertise. Let me show you the meaning of efficiency. The alien's tentacles twitch wetly, wetly against the helmet glass. Reward the strong, cull the weak. The galaxy has no shortage of workers. I will bring them to you. They will work or they will die. And the profits will flow. Why us? You do not mingle with outsiders. With a hideous sloshing sound, the helmet is flooded with liquid. Tentacles waving, the alien pro projects a certain euphoria. Because I share your values, because I keep myself apart. Is that why you wear an environmental suit? Just so. Okay, so he's down with our... He's down with our, like, empire ethics, I guess. Um, he has a bonus to metallurgists. And, um, sure. Why not, why not enlist this guy? I know just the world to put him on. And it is going to be our forge world. Corim, you are now governed by this guy. All right. This, uh, our other governor can go ahead and govern another world. Uh, looks like we are, we have zero available jobs on this world. Um, so why don't we go ahead and unlock one more building slot here. And then with the rest of our, um, building slots, we can build either mining districts or energy or generator districts. Um, right. And we were trying to upgrade... Reinforce our fleets. All right. Full strength. That's the one that we still need to upgrade. Full strength. Full strength. All right. This is the last one to keep upgrading. Research complete. Um, fantastic. We can have our citizens live in chemical bliss. I don't know if that's necessary. They'll certainly be happy living in chemical bliss. But that just sounds kind of messed up in a way. Maybe I'm messed up for not even considering that as an option. Death of a great leader. Burr Baskorak has passed away. Keep it traditional. Um, Alright, who is Burr Baskorak? What was, what was he governing? Um, okay, we still have governors for all of our main worlds. Our generator world has one. Forfion has one. Our tech world has one. Our mining world does not have a governor. Ultan does not have a governor. Desadia does. Why don't we put this person on Ultan? We'll hire a new governor for Ultan. And we will go ahead and get somebody with... Yeah, let's just get somebody with a leader experience gain. This will put me over my leader cap. Actually, I don't want to be over my leader cap. If I go to leaders, I have four of four officials. I should just leave it at that. We're probably good for governors anyways. As long as we don't have any council positions or sector capitals going ungoverned, we're okay. Um, extra jobs here. Yeah, why don't we build three more mining districts? In fact, why don't we, instead of building three more mining districts, build two more mining districts in a city? No. Three more mining districts. That's the maximum number of mining districts, and then two more cities. Research complete. Research complete. All right, tachyon sensors. Um, fantastic. We can unlock wormhole travel. We don't have any wormholes to travel through. We can get code breaking, plus two. And we don't really have anyone to do espionage. Uh, this looks kind of repeatable. Research station output, plus 
It's not bad. How much tech are we actually getting from our research stations at this point, though? Stations? Yeah, no, our jobs are vastly outweighing the stations, so that's not going to be that have that big of an effect on us. We have an open council position. Oh, okay, so that, that governor who died was, in fact, on our council. We have three available officials. Why don't we go ahead and put this guy as our master crafter? Yes. He is, in fact, governing the forge world after all. That's his specialty. And it looks like we actually can afford... Um, we can't afford another governor. It says we have four or four of officials, but we only have three of them. Oh, I bet you it's because our president is an official. Our commissary general, I should say. Okay, so we can go ahead and put Tachyon Senjas on all of our fleets. It's good to know. Before I do this research, this upgrade, I'm going to finish upgrading the rest of my fleets. And I'm actually going to go into ship designer and make sure that we're making full use of all of our technologies. Um, I'd like to research some new weapons and whatnot. Um, for example, the arc emitters. I think we should put those on our battleships. Terraforming gases. No, but we could get extra building slots. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? So let's go into fleet management. Let's go into ship designer. Okay. Our Corvettes, I'm happy with these. Disruptors and auto cannons seems like a good pairing. Um, yep, fully upgraded these. Hyperdrive level threes, reactor level fives, advanced computers. Okay. We're not using frigates at all. Okay, how about our destroyers? We have level three guardian point defense. We could start spending some of our minor artifacts. For web slingers. But I don't think we need that. Um, we really just would... I think it would benefit us to upgrade our flak batteries. I don't know why our flak batteries are so far behind everything else. But let's just keep this out as it is. I think these look fine. Um, our cruisers. We have devastator torpedoes. We're, we're unlocking energy torpedoes. So we might replace like one of these with an energy torpedo. But I don't know if, since those are going to be level 1. If they're going to be up to snuff. But... The rest of our cruisers look good. Gunship cruisers. Uh, these are focused on energy damage. Okay, to complement the kinetic damage done by our auto cannons from our destroyers and our corvettes. Yep. All right. And then here we go. I can choose a spinal mount bow. Okay. So let's do this for all of our artillery ships. Okay, so if I choose a spinal mount bow here, I can go ahead and put on, so this damage, this does 16.58 damage per second. Okay, this actually does significantly more damage, so this is going to be really good. And this, the thing about this weapon is it has a really long cooldown, but, and a limited firing arc, but man the damage it deals that's going to be totally worth it all right we're going to save this and it looks like we need to put in some armor okay ancient pulse armor did we what what was our verdict on this let's see 1020 armor and 450 shield 1,020 versus 1,320. So it's just slightly less, plus we get the extra shield. How much shield do we get? We get roughly half of the shield. I think this is worth it. I honestly think this is worth it. Plus we get bonus shield points from our KO engineers. This just uses, um, this uses minor artifacts, but we can spend them. I, I don't mind spending them. For our battleships that we really want to, we really want to protect our battleships. So I think we're going to spend all of these. Wow. Okay. So this brought our armor to 6,120 and our shields to 5,400. Um, I should have checked where that was before. Oops. Um, okay, so 3,000, 3,900. 
So 3,000, 6,120. Okay. This is already better. Yeah. Fantastic. This is definitely the way to go. It's going to cost us a lot of minor artifacts, but it's going to be totally worth it. Um, what is the power usage? Just 100? Okay. I'm sure this is fine. Okay. So we've got kinetic artillery. Fully upgraded. We should probably do the same with our energy artillery. Um, okay. Fantastic. Swarmer missiles. We... Those are our only long-range weapons, so we should probably keep them that way. Um, and we were going to put a spinal mount on. This does an arc emitter. And uh, we wanted the plasma launcher as well. Yeah. I think having a plasma launcher along with the two cavitation collapses is going to be beneficial for us. Um, and let's get all ancient pulse armor. All right, um, this is probably pretty good. And what about our carrier battleships? What is the range on the arc emitter? Range 150. Is this gonna be in range? This has a range of 150. This has a range of 120. Okay, so the average range of this is going, the median range is going to be 150. That's where it's staying at. Yeah, this is going to stay at a range of 150. So this will be able to deal damage. Um, what about the strike craft? We want these to stay at maximum range, 125. So we could sacrifice some of this capabilities to put X slot weapons in. I think we will. Um, and I think again, even though this shouldn't be seeing much action, so we really don't need to worry about the armor on these ships. It's better safe than sorry. All right, our carrier cat class ships now have slightly less um, strike craft, but they have um, these X slot weapons, which are going to be really powerful. Um, the last thing is, is I don't want to go overboard, but I think some ancient pulse armor could be beneficial for us on our um, cruisers as well, because these are actually kind of getting taking more hits in the battle, so we should definitely protect them. Um, so we can probably... We can probably replace some of our shields with that. Um, yeah, this is probably a healthy balance for our cruisers, so we don't, we're not spending too many minor artifacts on these. But since these are taking more hits, we they're kind of closer to the front lines. We definitely want them to be well protected. We'll go ahead and do the same with our with our um, gunships. Um, we need some shields here as well. A ship of this design is currently being built. All right, we'll have to wait for this ship to finish being built so we can save this design. Okay, you know, we'll come back to that. No more commercial packs from the state of Panic Solid. Are they disloyal? Ah, moving our envoy away from them made them disloyal, huh? I'd rather keep these guys loyal than our new state of myth fell. So we're going to put our envoy back to improving relationships with them. Um, meanwhile, let's actually go into our discoveries tab and let's discover an Elgate Insight. All right, we have enough... Elgate Insights to research technology behind them. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, special, is that a situation log? The L cluster. Is that a technology, I guess? Democratic ruler election. Looks like our commissary general is going to win the re-election. Let's see. Is it in physics? I'll get activation. Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to continue our current current physics research project. Right? we got to finish what we started. But once we're done with that, we will definitely, definitely look into activating the um, Elgates. How exciting. Okay. We'll save our gunship class cruisers. And if we look at all our fleets... 
let's see. We still need to continue reinforcing this fleet. Once I've finished reinforcing that fleet entirely, we can go ahead and uh, upgrade. But I think this is a good stopping point. It is now fair game for the Endgame Crisis to happen in a year now. Um, we have our fleets where we want to be. We finally have four fleets. We have X slot weapons. Um, we are upgrading advanced technologies. We should be good to go. Um, once we get these fleets upgraded, we can activate the L gates. We should be ready for that. Whatever comes out of them, we should be ready for. And we should be able to start upgrading our star bases into citadels. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Hopefully, the endgame crisis will hit and we'll know what we're dealing with.